Hello guys and welcome back to comments and it's time for another tutorial and today we're going to create a mirror. So as you can see there is just a very normal world, um, there's nothing special about it. Um, they just got some colliders so we can walk uh, over it and uh, as far as the other things it really doesn't matter how your world looks like. So now we're going to delete the camera um, and we're just going to add whatever character you are using. For me it's the first person controller. Um, it can also be the third person controller. Uh, in the end, it's just important that you remember where you have left the camera that you're going to use, because that's the only thing we're going to need. So now we're going to start uh, going towards our scripts folder, and we are going to create a C sharp script. You're going to call it mirror. So we're just going to uh, reload it and open everything up. We start with uh, removing the start function. We don't really need that. So here we got two transforms, a public transform mirror cam and a public transform player cam. So the way this is going to work is you got a mirror and to actually create a mirror we need to use a render texture, uh, more about that in a few seconds, um, and it needs another camera to actually render it towards that render texture. So here we are just going to make sure that the rotation and everything is all right. Because what we want to do is, if you've got a mirror, so let me just draw a very beautiful mirror right here. Um, you need to create a normal, and that's also uh, always in the center. Uh, so this is the normal. Then you are going towards the, uh, let me just, that's very thick and red. Then you have another, um, uh, you are being right here, so uh, you as the player, as the camera, you are right here, so we're just going to give that yellow, um, and you are going to watch right towards this point. Um, it's not perfectly beautiful, but that doesn't really matter. So this around um, 40, uh, uh, 45 degrees. Uh, it's not really perfect, but it doesn't matter. And the uh, amount of degrees you got right here, let me just go back to uh, black by the way, it needs to be the same as here. So the camera that is going to render um, this mirror right that is right here needs to actually be, um, if you going to watch, uh, if you're going to draw this line a, bit, a little bit further, right here. And if you're going towards this place, the camera needs to be right here. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to change the rotation of the camera, which is going to rotate around this pivot point in the middle of the actual mirror. So back to the script. We're going to have a public void calculate rotation. And this is the actual function that will, well, actually do everything. So calculate rotation, and that's it. In here, we got the vector three dot direction because that's the very first thing we need. We need to know where is the player currently at. So the player cam dot position minus uh, transform dot position because we're going to assign a script towards the base of the mirror. Um, so this like the center, uh, as you showed here, that's this point. So um, here, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, here. We are just going to calculate that. After that, we're going to say normalized. Uh, it's just a nice habit to make sure that every factor, every if you're using a direction, um, you would just do it between minus one and one. If you don't really need the amount of how well, far it away it is and so on. So then we're going to put the rotation. So we call neon dot, and we're going to say it's a rotation. And then call the neon dot look a rotation. So here. We basically say we got the direction, and from that we want to have a rotation. So here we still need to do some things. Because currently, if you're going to do this, the actual camera will well not exactly do the right thing. Um, because it will actually just render it um, just at the other end, and it will don't really think about the... Um, that it needs to be uh, this rotation needs to be the same as this rotation. So that's what we're going to 
uh, find out right now. So what we're going to do is we know the rotation of the base, base. So uh, rot dot Euler angles. By the way, Euler angles are um, a quaternion is something with four variables, and that's a very weird number. I'm not going to explain it because it's very hard to understand. Other angles are a little bit easier to understand because that's are the same variables you see right here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to say that it is the same as transform dot Euler angles. So you can see that as transform dot forward, so the forward direction minus the rotation dot Euler angles. So actually, um, it's currently got the camera right here. Uh, before that and after the rotation it knows uh, it knows that it needs to be right here so that's it's actually just switch the sides okay so after we did this uh, we actually need to uh, do one last thing in this to assign the rotation so the uh, mirror cam dot rotation the local rotation by the way it's very important is going to be the rotation. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to right click and create an empty. And this empty we are going to call mirror or just like the mirror base and we are also going to assign here the script. So nothing very special about it anymore. We're also going to create a cube. Um, let me just Make sure that it's in the right place. Make sure that you do this with the empty and not the cube, because we want to make sure that the cube here, which is going to be the border, let me just call it right now, um, it needs to be uh, at the center of um, this object. So now we're just going to scale it a little bit down. All right, and we are going to duplicate it. Right click, duplicate, and call this the mirror cell. And also remove the box collider from it. And then we are going to create an empty, and you're going to call this the camera rotation. Well, after we have that, we are just going to um, right click again and add the actual camera which we are going to rotate around and so on um, we are going to do a few things about this um, the very first thing is that we're just going to rotate this uh, 190 degrees it's just a little bit easier in this world um, but very important that you do this with this mirror and not with the other objects itself because all those rotations need to be zero it's very important if you don't do that it won't work and you will get some weird behavior the camera itself we are actually going to put this at uh, the near the clipping planes at dot five and this at minus dot five so just make sure that you got like a bit of a base or whatever you want to call it uh, to make sure that you don't really uh, see that it's from the uh, the camera is from the center because in real life um, I don't know if people have, uh, have physics in at school, but here, if you got here a mirror, what we'll actually do if you got right here the player, uh, or actually in real life your eyes, it will have uh, multiple normals, and from each normal it will do a different calculation. From there, it will just see what the position of the uh, object is and well, this rotation needs to be the same as that rotation. I'm sorry, it's not really that. Uh, the same is going to be happening right here. And, well, it, if you do that, you actually need, um, for example, nine cameras. And that's just too expensive for your run because cameras are very expensive. Um, but we got a problem that will render the border of the mirror. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to do a layer and add layer. Here somewhere uh, with an empty layer, you just come out to call it mirror, and you are just going to change this layer to mirror and yes, change children. Then you are going to move the mirror itself a little bit forward. Uh, I know this is not a very beautiful model, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are just going to keep it very simple. Otherwise, just go towards Blender, 
and just create there a nice model for the actual um, mirror. So now what we're going to do is we're going towards your uh, material step and we're going to create a new material called mirror. So here we are actually need a texture that is going to be rendered from this camera and the way you do this is right click create a render texture right here and call it mirror. If you've got multiple mirrors uh, you can call it mirror zero uh, one mirror zero two mirror zero three and so on the problem with that is of course it's going to be taking a lot of memory which you don't need so if you can reuse them at some point because if you are at some point in the scene another mirror at the other end of the scene isn't necessary so try to reuse them as much as possible and turn the cameras off which you currently don't need because they are rather expensive now we're going towards the mirror and you are going to put here the mirror texture then after that going towards mirror self and we're going to assign this texture so mirror and you would just get a basic shader which is basically nothing but it's not very important now we are going towards the camera and here you got target texture change this towards the mirror as you can see you see right now if you see the camera preview um, right here you can see that it is rendering the mirror itself so now we're going towards cutting mask and you're going to change or disable the mirror and also all the other layers you don't really need now you're going towards mirror I'm going to assign the camera rotation towards the mirror camera you're going to assign the first person character or all the camera using towards the player camera. And we're going to test it and probably there are going to be some problems. That's always happening with programming. Um, so as you can see, um, it is kind of working. And as you can see, the rotation is the upside of uh, our rotation so that works but there is of course a little bit of a problem um, and that is that we actually want if I would just go to what's uh, outside we actually want that this object you see right here is at this end because of course with the mirror the closest object is uh, to the right is also another right of the mirror so how we're going to do that is going towards mirror cell and change the scale of the XS to minus one. Um, you can just test this in play mode, but be sure to disable play mode and then do minus one, otherwise you will steal your behavior. The last test we are going to do is actually when we rotate this object and see if it will work. If it doesn't work, we need to change that. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, uh, this works also. So everything works and that means um, we are finished for this tutorial but there is one last tip i want to give you guys and that is don't never use image effects on this camera all the camera effects like motion blur or anything else that is assigned on this camera will be also rendered towards this camera um that is something about um that you need to render it again when you see the mirror itself and everything that's moving will be rendered with a lot of other uh, image effects that will also be happening and it would just be a shame if you just waste your memory like that so a lot of those image effects aren't really needed of course some can be needed but uh, try to be careful with it also try to be careful with adding a lot of those mirrors if you will add um, hundreds of those mirrors it will cause a lot of lag um, so try to avoid that so that's like the, the uh, thing that you need to need, make a manager and everything else, but that's a little bit uh, beyond the beginner level. And if you know how to create a manager, um, well, you probably already know how to create this. So that's why I didn't include this right here, because it's rather complex. Also, if you've got a whole wall of mirrors, so for example, you've got uh, in total 10, try to use only one camera and instead of 10, to make sure that 
it doesn't waste your performance. Also, if you want to make a higher resolution, um, here it's not really needed because the closest you can get will always be uh, not more than uh, 256 um, pixels. That's the closest you can get with the camera, so it doesn't really matter, but otherwise you can change that right here with the size. Um, that was everything for this tutorial. If you've got any questions, please ask below in the comment section. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible and see you guys next time. Bye.